Okay, here's a little fun project I did quite a few years ago, and I use it all the time. I've been a fan of 900 megahertz RF wireless headphones for over 20 years, I guess. And I've gone through several sets like this. My first set took a hit on a concrete floor and busted into a million pieces. So, rather than um, mess around trying to fix it, which was practically impossible, I took the guts out of it and I put it inside of an old boombox speaker, which I now can carry around if I'm working out in the carport and I want to keep tabs on a frequency. I run this through my audio system and um, <clears throat> it transmits out to the carport or the garden or wherever I'm at. If I'm working on the car or working in the garden, I don't necessarily want to wear the headphones. So I have this little squawk box here, which uh, has served me quite well. Let me show you the innards of it. Hang on a second. Okay, so here's what we've got going on here. The main part is right here. This is the receiver that I took out of the old wireless headphones. It runs on two, three, or two uh, AA batteries for three volts. So I wanted to run the whole thing off a 12 volt power supply, or a 12 volt battery, I should say. I didn't have any three volt zeners, so I went to the junk box and I always have a bunch of LM317s. So I made a little three volt regulator from an LM317, mounted it right there. And, uh, of course, there's not enough power to drive a speaker from this receiver. So I went to the junk box again and I built a uh, little audio amplifier from an LM380 right down there. Um, LM380's got more power than a 386, it's about two and a half watts or so. Pretty clean, runs off 12 volts. I removed the uh, tuning and the volume controls and mounted them up front here. So that's the volume, that's the tune. Ran the antenna up to a little BNC jack and plug a little telescoping antenna into it. And that's it. And the whole thing runs off of a 12 volt battery. So let me give you a little demo of how it works. Hang on. Okay, so uh, let me turn this down a second. What I've got here is uh, a, a net frequency on uh, mid cars there, and everything runs through this audio mixer that I made. <clears throat> the K2, the K3, the uh, Drake R4B. I can mix them all together. That was a previous video. That's the power supply for the mixer. <clears throat> and here's my little shack amplifier. Nice little, uh, I don't know, it's about a 10 watt stereo amp. But the headphone jack is plugged in to the transmitter for the 900 megahertz uh, <clears throat> RF headphones when that is the transmitter right up there. So. That's what the system is. Now let me uh, let you listen to it here for a second. So we'll turn up the volume. And of course nobody's talking right now. Well, let me pause this until somebody talks. Okay, we got some audio going here now. I get excellent range from this little transmitter. I can hear it all over my property, across the street, down the street, neighbor's yard. Works very well. And the audio is pretty clean. The tune control here. Uh, 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 no, no rain. It's the 
get it locked in and it stays, doesn't drift very stable. And it works pretty well. Serves my needs. I've been using this thing for probably 10, 15 years. Hauled it all over the place. And uh, made good use of those old RF uh, headphones that fell on a concrete driveway and busted all up. So that's my squawk box that you guys hear me talk about from time to time. And uh, works pretty good. There's Lenny. Hey, Lenny. Band's not terrific here. Summertime. Signals basically are weak. Mesh networks. How about mesh? Well, I don't say. Anyway, that's the squawk box. Anybody wants to make one, I'll be glad to help you. Keep on tinkering. See y'all later.